Hey what's up guys this is Kitty Cloudy and I watched Avatar the Way of Water a couple of days ago at Prasad's Multiplex uh, formerly known as Prasad's IMAX uh, also known as the biggest theater in India and uh, now I originally planned this video to be a vlog but let's face it it's pretty embarrassing to vlog in public and I reached the theater a little bit late I missed like 5 minutes of the movie and i did not know what to do so i just cooked up a montage which you just uh, saw and the rest of this video is going to be me giving my opinions and my thoughts uh, of my experience both of the movie and the theater so like watching watching this movie in a good theater is important because this was mastered in a lot of formats you got 4k you got hdr you got 48 frames per second high frame rate if you want to learn more go watch my previous video 3d 2d and Dolby Atmos and like the 185 is to 1 aspect ratio and the 239 is to 1 aspect ratio. Those are the tech specs. Uh, I watched it in Prasad's in uh, 2K, 48 frames per second, 3D and in the 185 aspect ratio. So the only two things and Dolby Atmos as well. So the only two things I was missing out on were HDR uh, and 4K. Which is okay because I don't think any other theater in this entire country and very few theaters around the world can project in all of those formats. But yeah, apart from the formats, the most important thing about my experience was the size of the screen. I mean, the moment I walked in the theater, it just... That's the biggest screen I've ever seen in my life. And I've been to IMAX. I've been to about 9 or 10 IMAXs in this entire country. And this was easily out of those the biggest screen I've ever witnessed. It's a hundred feet wide, a hundred feet wide and sixty four feet tall. That's dude. Like it's really hard to show on camera how like how big the screen actually is. I mean, I can't even like for reference. This is like a visualization of all the top IMAXs from uh, the metropolitan cities in India. So on the smaller side, you have the Delhi Saket IMAX with laser, and then you have the Bangalore IMAX, then you uh, go even bigger, you have the Chennai and the Noida IMAX, both are 70 feet wide. 70 feet wide is pretty big. I've been to both of those IMAXs like multiple times, and if you pick the right seat, it can actually provide you a pretty immersive experience. But all of that starts to dwarf when you put Prasad's multiplex among those. Yeah, that's how big it is. Like, it's fucking insane how big that is. Like, you take the Bangalore IMAX, you flip it to the side, and you put three of those side by side, and it would still wouldn't cover Prasad's large screen. It's that big. And powering, the, powering that insane screen, uh, there are two Barco projectors, laser projectors. I believe the exact model is the DP 4K60L. So yeah, dual 4K laser projectors. But hold on a second. Uh, if the if the projection system is dual laser 4K, how come did I only watch the movie in a 2K resolution? Uh, well, for that, uh, Disney, uh, the distributor of this particular film, um, 
yeah they did not send out 4k prints uh, for 3d they did so for the 2d uh, the, the 2d shows and honestly if you have concerns about watching 2k on a screen that big even i was a little concerned about that but it wasn't that bad i mean it could have been a touch sharper but it wasn't it, honestly it wasn't that bad in fact all the dual laser gd imaxes around the world they are also projecting the movie in 2k so i mean you're not really losing out anything by watching it here on prasad's if you're still not convinced that 2K is good enough, well, uh, the video you're watching right now is 2K and upscaled to 4K because my camera doesn't support 4K 60. But yeah, honestly, just trust me on this, 2K is just good enough. And yeah, we don't have Dolby Cinema in India, so like, it doesn't matter. What about the high frame rate? What about the 48 frames per second? Now, I've already made a dedicated video about, you know, Cameron's use of high frame rate and how it solves the problems with 3D, which is basically that when you have uh, scenes with very fast moving objects or like scenes with very high motion, uh, high frame rate basically smooths it out and you get like less of that jittery effect when you're watching in 3D with those 3D glasses. And it definitely excels at solving that problem, but artistically, um, I'm not really sure if three like high frame rate could be applied to all movies like it was good for this but i've heard people complain that the movie looks like a video game cutscene um it's not as bad as that i think it was pretty tastefully used uh like like 48 frames per second for all the action scenes and 24 frames per second for all the quieter dialogue scenes and it was a good mix using variable frame rate in fact there were certain scenes which like had different frame rates in the same shot I have no idea how they did that. I mean, it was pretty mind boggling, <laughs> but yeah, it was a good, it was a very intentional use of high frame rate. And uh, yeah, but, but my only gripe is that when they were switching back to 24, uh, it took me a while to adjust because uh, it felt choppy for the first few seconds. And I mean, they could have gone all the way with a high frame rate, but I'm glad they didn't because 24 still looks cinematic for the quieter the dramatic the dialogue scenes so yeah it was a pretty good use of high frame rate as a tool to improve the 3d experience and while we're at it let's talk about the 3d experience prasad's uh, large screen has something called dolby 3d the special glasses and everything and the glasses say barco laser 3d but it's actually dolby 3d technology um basically uh, if you have to understand it, traditional 3D methods are based on polarization. IMAX 3D uses linear polarization and Real D 3D uses circular polarization. Dolby 3D does not use polarization um, and it uses like color filter separation. Both the lenses of the glasses have something called dichroic filters and they basically instead of filtering out polarities of light, they filter out different colors and when they go into your brain uh they fuse it all together and it forms a 3d image but my main takeaway was just that the glasses were really comfortable and very premium like the lenses are actually made out of glass instead of plastic and they were pretty comfortable to wear as well and what about like brightness loss like anytime you wear glasses it's gonna take away some of the light i mean it did not take away light from the actual like image which was projected on the screen but i would say it did take away light which was reflected on like the audience's heads or the seats or the walls like i couldn't see all of those with those glasses so i think that was a pretty good description of what i saw in 3d uh yeah the rest is audio it was dolby atmos it was like they had, they had like so many speakers up in the ceiling i couldn't even count uh, but yeah, the, the Atmos mix was very, very clean and a theater that big has like very less echo and it had some pretty solid surround effects. I did not observe very like a lot of overhead effects. I wasn't really paying attention to that. I was more like a visuals person, but yeah, the Dolby Atmos mix was pretty good. But you know what? Uh, the main factor which made all the difference for me in this movie it wasn't even the screen it wasn't the audio it wasn't the high frame rate it was the aspect ratio 
This movie was in 185 is to 1 aspect ratio which is significantly taller than the 235 is to 1 scope aspect ratio and usually w- what is like is that almost all movies are shot in a taller aspect ratio but IMAX sort of gate keeps aspect ratio I don't know why but yeah it looks good on their screens the taller aspect ratio and I think that's what makes all the difference and even in this movie even in this movie and this particular theater the taller aspect ratio added more to the immersion than anything else and i'm dead serious about it like uh prasad's has like an aspect ratio it has a weird aspect ratio like 1.53 is to 1 like if this is the rectangle of the screen this is the image which is projected on it and And Avatar the Way of Water is one of the very few films which don't have an IMAX exclusive aspect ratio uh which can actually make use of this tall screen. And because of the taller aspect ratio it sort of engulfs your entire like peripheral vision. Like I was physically moving my eyeballs, you know, focusing from one character to the subtitles to another character to the subtitles and so on and so forth. Like it actually engulfs your entire peripheral vision and it just adds to the emotion like i said before for a normal scope movie like i watched black panther it was like 235 is to 1 throughout it didn't hit me as hard i don't know why like i mean aspect ratios do make all the difference for me um and i'm glad i watched this in 185 is to 1 in india's largest screen and honestly for prasad's multiplex this is as good as it's going to get yeah enough of me nerding about <laughs> the theater uh that was i think i covered basically all of the points i wanted to cover and i will be rewatching avatar the way of water with my parents back home at delhi at imax with laser now uh apparently imax with laser is supposed to show it in 4k high frame rate and 3d so like all of these things like prasads uh but with 4k and without the dolby atmos so yeah i'm not really sure if that's even correct but yeah we'll see we'll see how that imax holds up in front of prasads if will is it better is it worse is it the same so yeah uh let me know if you want me to make a video on that experience as well or like just follow me on social media because i always put stories and tweet about stuff all the time but yeah this was one of the greatest movie watching experience i've ever had and i'm lucky i was in hyderabad to witness this uh like i said the sequel to the biggest movie in the world in the biggest theater in india i'm just glad to have witnessed it and thank you so much for watching this video and i'll catch you guys in the next one cheers